well welcome back to my little series of around Bristol oddities and today let's go to the pub now as, as some of you know uh, I don't drink anymore but I still enjoy going to country pubs uh, they're great places to go out for a nice nice meal and uh, plenty of them are selling non-alcohol drinks these days so let's go out to a pub which is only a mile outside Bristol city centre seems a lot further if you go round by the road or down through the park uh, and this is the little village of Long Ashton and it really is long the village is about a mile long uh, all strung out along a road sort of ribbon development and parts of it are very old medieval parts of it Victorian parts of it very very modern uh, it's got modern housing estates right alongside very ancient buildings like this pub here so this is the angel at Long Ashton the Angel Inn and funny enough I used to drive past this pub and visit this pub many years ago when I worked around that area of North Somerset and I always used to we always used to call it the Blue Angel and that's because its insides have always been predominantly blue <laughs> so obviously when you're driving you kind of catch a glimpse of it and you just kind of think of it as the Blue Angel so this is the outside uh, shot and um, very pretty little pub they've just had their decorations up for the jubilee and here it is on the os map of 1901 uh, just a little excerpt of the map here showing the inn uh, but this inn in building goes back centuries you know it, it was probably once a farmhouse and what it's really notice, notable for um, for those of us who like wildlife is that it's a it's a very old swallow colony and the swallows come back every year uh, there are usually hundreds of them and the, the owners of the pub have over the years uh, accommodated the swallows and uh, they actually have it on their website I will put a link to the website uh, they mention it that they they you know they take care to look after the swallows and uh, hopefully the swallows will be coming back here for, for centuries to come so when we went down yesterday, unfortunately, it did seem a bit skinny on the ground for swallows, to be honest. We only saw the odd one or two going in or out where there used to be crowds of them. But it could be the time of day or perhaps um, perhaps uh, this year hasn't been very good for migrant birds. Certainly haven't been many swifts around. So the interesting thing about this pub is that it's called The Angel. And I've called this video One Pub Seven Angels. So let's count up the angels. So here on the outside picture, you should be able to see three. This is from the gable end looking from Bristol and towards Long Ashton village. Here's the first angel sign, which is pretty old and paint flaking off it. In fact, it looks as if it had another sign painted under it at some time. It's really flaky. I've tried to do a close up here of the angel's face which is just a sweet little generic angel. The second sign is, is on the, the front wall and it's quite a small sign. Again, a sort of generic angel. Signs one and two look as if they might have been uh, done by the same artist. Uh, a bit too small and a bit too much in shadow for me really to zoom in on this one, I'm afraid. So I can't really show you much of that one. But angel three, which is the modern in sign, the one that everybody sees when they're driving along the road obviously the latest one to be painted and i really do love it uh, have a have a look at this they they're trying to go back to um the, the sort of somersetshire roots this is north somerset very mystical this this girl isn't she um is that glastonbury tour in the background without the church tower which would make it much more going back into more early medieval times or is it Silbury Hill, which is uh, more down towards Wiltshire? Both artificial mounds, and both of them uh, said to be uh, in the shape of a woman's uh, pregnant womb. And in her, in her, the folds of her dress here, she, she's holding the actual, you know, the actual fruits of the earth, which the earth gives birth to the apple harvests of Somerset. Long Ashton, by the way, this is a nod to Long Ashton's history. Long Ashton was noted for, for a long, long time for having the university um, research station 
at the other end of the village, which had its own orchards. They were doing fascinating research down there. They were they were trying to um, kind of create apples that could live in areas with, with almost no water. Uh, it, that could even perhaps be planted on Mars if if we if we ever get to Mars, and and start trying to plant plant, uh, you know, grow food. They were trying to invent an apple that could grow on Mars. I remember. Anyway. That is unfortunately now closed. The university sold it all off and it's just it's just all housing estates now. But this in sign is a nod back to that history when the research station was there. So the next one is on the other gable end and unfortunately I don't have my own photograph of this one. So I'm showing you a picture from the, the pub's own website. Uh, and this is a sign that announces that it's a bed and breakfast because they do have a couple of rooms here which you can hire to stay in, which would be very nice if you were going around North Somerset. And I can't, so obviously I can't zoom in on this one, but it looks as if it's a lady with a hat on. So perhaps a bit more, a bit more kind of um, Balbury Bisley style for this one than an actual angel. I'm not sure. And as we're going around this side of the pub, um, you can see the entrance to the barn and the back courtyard. Here's my photograph of it. This is definitely one of the prettiest back courtyards in the whole country. Uh, you, you know, I, I can't recommend going out too, too highly to see this pub. It is beautiful and to see the swallows at this time of year. Um, no, I don't have my own picture of this because there were too many people and I didn't want to be filming people without their permission. So just going to show you a quick picture of where the swallows go in and out when you're sitting there. So this is just up over our heads. There's a nice bit of roses, climbing roses here. And you can see where those rafters are. They go in and out of there and they can be swooping over your head while you're eating and drinking. It's one of the reasons I go to this pub to see the swallows. Other people might not like it so much. I can't speak for them. So sign number five is propped up, well it's on the wall actually, just underneath where the swallows are. Here it is. Again, quite art deco-y one, this one. And uh, here's a close-up of her face. And sign number six on the opposite wall. And what a beautiful, beautiful portrait this is. It is so detailed. And you notice the nose ring. Um, I'll show you her face here. I mean, that is beautiful. Maybe it's the portrait of a local girl or that maybe even at the daughter of the in, in, in owner at the time. <laughs> and that really makes you think of the old poem, The Highwayman, doesn't it? And his, uh, how he loved the, in, the innkeeper's daughter and she was tied to the bed to betray him by the redcoats famous old poem that we learned in school the highwayman came riding up to the old inn door remember that one <laughs> so that's angel number six so where's angel number seven then well if you're sat in the courtyard and you have a look around you'll see this funny little alcove uh, it's not very high and it's got these uh, it's got a, a bit of railing in front of it the little metal sign above it here was just too is just too faint for me to photograph, but it basically gives you the same information that is on the pub's website, how how the pub was used as a an occasional court, and this was actually a little lockup, <laughs> where they would have um put in the you know the, the local miscreants maybe a poacher or a drunk or something, to um where he would have spent quite an uncomfortable night, while he sobered up before he was taken in front of the beak in the morning. So that's uh, that's quite funny. And when you have a closer look at this alcove, there's angel number seven. Now, I don't know if this is an actual plaster angel from a church, whether it's from the church down the lane, or is it just something they picked up in a, in a, a junk shop somewhere? But it's very evocative. It really adds something to the atmosphere of this, this uh, beautiful old pub. And uh, she looks as if she might be praying for the souls of the... Uh, the, the the men you know the local criminals who were who were, who were locked up in there awaiting their justice. 
so uh thanks for this little trip to the country pub with me uh hope you have a chance to visit it sometime it's on a direct bus route from bristol two or three different buses stop here right outside the pub so you can uh, feel quite confident that you can uh, come out here and have a, have, a, have a few beers without worrying about driving so the one pub seven angels i hope you're enjoying this little series and i'll see you in the next one